Shalom family. So, sick death cult of a new world order taking place and forming right in front of you. And yes, I'm going to point out a few things to you. There's two articles specifically, and I'm going to go with the tame one, and then we'll go into the next one to prove my point. The first one is Delaware right now has just passed a bill to use dead humans as compost. Now imagine dead humans used as compost, them growing food, you eating that food, and you having human DNA inside you from a corpse. Yes, I said it. Composting reduces the dead to soil using natural processes, as opposed to preservation using formaldehyde or cremation that releases carbon dioxide and mercury into the air. Composting uses large vessels to hold human remains together with straw, wood chips, and natural materials for about 30 days. In composting, the contents of the vessels are periodically turned, and the family of the deceased receives the composted soil at the end of the process. The practice is legal in Washington, Colorado, Oregon, Vermont, California, New York, and Nevada, all according to the legislations passed in 2023 already. The Delaware House approved the bill 37 to 2 in January, and the state Senate passed it on 14-7 on Thursday, 14 to 7. The bill will now move to Democrat Governor John Carney's desk for approval. Obviously, it's going to be approved. What the heck? Right? So, you might not be too disturbed by that. Or you might think, you know what? Awesome way to save the planet. That's great. Let's do that. That's all good. What? Let's jump straight into number two. Science magazine claims that the West's Aversion to cannibalism is rooted in racism, colonialism, and Christianity. Do you see how they link those three together tightly to say this is what they actually are? Christianity is colonialist and racist because they want the true faith to be evil and bad. Evil is bad. Evil is good. Good is evil. Everything's upside down. It's part of living in a time like the judges, when everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Judges 21 verse 25. Because there is no recognized ultimate authority. They are deleting God as he is known from everything. So there's no recognized authority. And when their recognized authority comes, it's going to be a hundred times worse. This little article popped up in a new scientist piece titled, Is it time for a more subtle view on the ultimate taboo, cannibalism? Now they're doing the same kind of thing with pedophilia or what they're now saying is minor attracted persons. They're taking things that everybody should know to your very core is evil and wrong and sick. And they're saying, no man, let's look at this again. We've removed God, so let's just decide for ourselves. New archaeological evidence shows that ancient humans ate each other surprisingly often, sometimes for compassionate reasons. The finds give us an opportunity to reassess our views on the practice. The author continues, Our aversion has been explained in various ways, perhaps down to the fact that in Western religious traditions, Bodies are seen as the seat of the soul and have a whiff of the sacred. Or maybe it is culturally ingrained with roots in early modern colonialism when racist stereotypes of the cannibal were concocted to justify subjugation. These came to represent the other to Western societies and revulsion towards cannibalism became a tenet of their moral conscience. No, it's a natural revulsion when you see someone eating someone. So our aversion to eating other people is a leftover of Western colonialism, racism, and Christianity. Basically, the argument is wokeism now applied to cannibalism. We don't need a more subtle view on cannibalism. We need a more biblical view of the body and the soul in both cases. Cannibalism is not the way you should be going but in the world we're living in right now and the way everything is going probably going to be normal because there won't be any beef they will have gotten rid of them and you'll have to eat each other which again 
drives the whole thing of depopulation. So, hey, win-win for everybody. I won't be seeing any uh, human chops on Bill Gates' table anytime soon, just like I won't be seeing any of the bugs on Klaus Schwab's table. But the rest of you, eat up. If that's what you're looking forward to. I, for one, will stay biblical and follow the ways of the one and only final authority. Always. Welcome to the final week of man. Buckle up and keep your eyes open as we race towards our finish line. God bless and shalom.